everybody, it's Claudia. I am so excited to be talking to you guys today. I feel like I haven't filmed a video in a while, so I apologize for that, but let's just run through the list quick of things that I do have for you guys today and what they can mean. I've got a red lip on. I've got a Christmas Starbucks drink. Mm -hmm. I have a cozy sweater on. I have dogs, and they're not really relevant, but they're cute, so... I have those too. And I have a stocking. So that can only mean one thing, guys. This is a Christmas video, and this is the first one of the season. Very excited about it. You should be too. So last year, if you were around, you may or may not remember that I did a whole Christmas series called Hashtag Christmas with Claudia. And this year, I think this will literally be my only Christmas with Claudia video because there is something very special happening in a few weeks on my blog. I'll have that link down below, but starting December 1st, I will be tweeting about it, I'll Instagram about it. You guys will know when it happens, but it's going to happen. It's 100% Christmas related, but it's on my blog. So if you have any guesses about what that may or may not be, leave a comment down below because I'd love to know what you guys think it is. Alright, so for my one and only-ish <laughs> In quotation marks, Christmas with Claudia video for November, the start of the Christmas season. I love the Christmas season. I'm so excited about it. I just, I love everything about Christmas and I'm just so into it. So for this first video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite aspects of Christmas, which is an advent calendar. So last year when I was living in Los Angeles, my mom left me a cute little stocking and it had 24 days of little goodies in it. So this year I want to show you how to make your own stocking advent calendar. It's a little bit cheaper than buying it. You can make this for your brother, you can make this for your sister, you can make this for your parents, you can make it for yourself. I don't care. You can tell your mom about it. You can send her this video and be like, hey mom, look, you should do this for me. But it's a really fun way to kind of get into the Christmas spirit and not go buy a box advent calendar or just get chocolates every day and I'm gonna show you kind of some of my ideas to put in the advent calendar but it's just a really really fun idea I loved it last year and so I really wanted to show you guys this video and hopefully get you inspired a little bit for the upcoming season but I felt that this video was a good time to go out because it's still November so you have some time to go shop if you're planning to do this for yourself or for someone else but I just thought you know let's all start the Christmas love and I'm so excited excited about it and I'm just this Christmas I feel is gonna be a good one in all aspects of Christmas so give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for Christmas and let's just get into the advent stocking portion of the video yeah let's go let's do it so the first thing you're gonna need is obviously a stocking of your choice these can be found at places like Target Walmart, chapters, just go on the hunt for them and you will definitely not have a problem finding them. You're also going to need wrapping paper and this is a great way to kind of reuse and recycle old like smaller pieces of wrapping paper or the awkward end of wrapping paper. That's a really great way to wrap the little goodies inside of your advent calendar using whatever wrapping paper that you want. You're going to need a hole punch of your choice of size. A shape punch, the choice and size is completely up to you. This is a circular two inch punch. You're gonna need a Sharpie. Again, color is totally up to you. You're gonna need some rope or some string to tie your advent numbers to your paper. And you're gonna need some scrapbooking paper of your choice and color. And then that is your finished circle. You're gonna want to create numbers one to 24. So you can do little doodles on them as well and just make them look really pretty, but they're super simple to make. So obviously the simpler, the better for yourself. And then on the six and the nine, I recommend writing six and nine so you don't get confused because they could look kind of like the same day. So obviously what you put in your advent calendar is completely up to you and the person you are potentially making it for. But some ideas I have are like a book, some tea, chocolate obviously, some makeup, a red lipstick would be really fun, an ornament, the Starbucks ones are really cute, a gift card from somewhere, a place you know they like, a mini candle from Bath and Body Works, some gum that's wrapped up really cute, again more chocolate, a nail polish, and like any kind of Christmassy flavored candy. But again, just going to stores even right now, there's tons of cute Christmas styled stuff, Christmas size stuff, mini stuff. Try and make it as Christmassy as possible, but these are just some of the many, 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 many ideas out there. 
and then you just give them a quick wrap however you like. They're really cute and easy to wrap. You're just going to want to tie the string around your present and add the number in so obviously the recipient knows which day to open when. This is also a really great gift because you can ship it really easily. You can send it off in a box and put it all in the stocking and whoever is getting it, if you have like a sibling off at college or something, that's a really great idea to send it off to them so they kind of have like a look forward to coming home countdown whenever they come home. You could also just fill it to the day they get home and then continue on once they are back at your house. This is also a really great gift idea because it's inexpensive or as expensive as you want it to be. Again, it's an awesome, super versatile, customizable gift. And my last tip is once you are filling the stocking, make sure you put 24 at the bottom and fill backwards because that way your recipient is not digging all the way to the bottom to try and find number one. So you that was the advent stocking. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you did and you like Christmas and you're not a Grinch, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like this video or you like me in general, definitely press the subscribe button. It is right down. Oh crap. It might be right here. It might be right here. And if you press the subscribe button, you'll be the very first person. Well, one of, you'll be one of the first. It'll show up in your subscription boxes. And you'll know. And you can watch it and you'll just be like, check mark done. Good to go. So that's what happens if you press the little free button down there. And like always, all my social media links are down below and you're definitely going to want to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter because you do not want to miss the Christmas festivities and my blog, my Instagram, and my Twitter are all just going to be Christmas filled. It's already starting to trickle in. So you definitely want to go follow me on those so you don't miss it because it's going to be really fun. And who doesn't like fun things? And if you don't like fun things, I'm... I don't even know what's happening. I don't even know. So <laughs> that's it for this video, you guys. Can you tell I'm really excited? Can you tell I had a coffee drink? Don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm so excited. I hope you guys are excited too. Hope you enjoyed the video. I think I got all my bases covered. This was a very interesting video. I hope you guys liked it. Okay, I'm gonna go now before I make an even bigger fool of myself. Hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will talk to you on Monday with a new singing video. And I sing better than that, I promise. <laughs> okay, bye guys.